The community is reeling following the death of a former teacher. Police say he was shot and killed by his neighbor. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lance talked to the victim's family and joins us now from Glen Mills. Shante. Yeah, Yuki, his father and sister described him as a loving dad with a good heart. Meanwhile, he last taught at this middle school. Counselors are on hand, and while the news is shocking to students, it's nothing compared to the grief of his family. This whole situation is just a complete, I wish I could take his place, no. but that's not possible. Andrew Ivorone is talking about his son, 44-year-old Joseph Ivorone, a recently retired Garnett Valley Middle School physical education teacher who was shot in the head outside of his own home. State police say at the hands of his own neighbor, 49-year-old John J. Ballas. That's surreal, you know, it's hard to believe. It's not clear what prompted the shooting, but it happened early Sunday morning on the 100 block of Bishop Drive in Chester Heights. Iverone was listed in critical condition before passing away last night. Ballas is now charged with murder. I didn't know him either, but um, just his life is ruined, his family's life is ruined, and our family's life is ruined. Lori Iverone is Joe's older sister. Although seven years apart, they shared the same birthday, June 4th. She described her brother as a loving father of two, and a good person. He was happy-go-lucky, always smiling. He would help you out. He was a wonderful school teacher. Just tragedy. Iverone retired a few weeks ago from the school district after almost 20 years. His family says for personal and professional reasons. He was also a varsity high school football coach where he once played. Although gone in spirit, Andrew Iverone hopes to meet his son once again. We made him a, 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 a donor. So his heart's going to be with someone, and I want to meet that person and, and, hug, and hug him. And today, a district court judge gave John Ballas, that suspect, no bail. He's currently in a Delaware County jail. He's due back in court for his preliminary hearing next month. Live in Glen Mills in Delaware County, Shante Land, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Shante, thank you.